Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to have a look at some reveals from Obsidian Flames, some of which are kind of cool, and one of which is genuinely really quite big. This is quite a big deal. Which one's quite a big deal? Well, we have confirmation that Cloth EX is going to be in Obsidian Flames. It has been officially revealed. It is official. We are getting ourselves Cloth EX. Why, pray tell, is Cloth EX such a big deal? And the answer is because we didn't know this was coming. You see, as I've explained to you before, we don't have multiple Japanese sets coming into Obsidian Flames like we generally do with most sets. Most English sets are made up of multiple Japanese sets. That is not the case of Obsidian Flames. It is made of the Japanese set Rule of the Black Flame, and that's the only one. However, we have had confirmation that at least the majority of the EXs and the EX start decks are going to be featured in here as well. Now, we haven't actually had confirmation about all of them. There are a couple that are missing, but we have had official confirmation of a bunch of them. We've seen Decidueye, for instance. We've seen Greedon, and we've seen a bunch of the others. There are still a couple missing, but we've had confirmation about a bunch of them. We've had official English or European language reveals. And then there was the EX set, which came out over in Japan. And although we still don't have any word on Houndstone, as it stands at the moment, Houndstone is missing. We have absolutely no idea about Houndstone. I'm assuming it's going to be in the set personally, but it's one of those we haven't actually been given any reason to suggest it's in there, other than the fact that, I don't know, it really should be, shouldn't it? Because the others are. But, like I say, no confirmation on that one yet. But we have seen the official reveals of both Pormot and Toad Scroll from that particular set. So that's coming in as well. And when, what we learned from this, the fact that we've got the EX start decks coming in, the fact that we've got the EX set coming in, one of the things we learned here was that, and I don't say this in a bad way, but we are seeing this as a bit of a, a clean-up set, so to speak. This is a set which is being used to bring us a bunch of stuff that Japan have had that we didn't have. Well, that extends to Claw VX as well. Now, Claw, for anyone that may have forgotten or didn't know, I honestly wouldn't forgive you, Claw was a promo over in Japan. What they basically do over in Japan is every time they do a new set or a new, it's pretty much a new set to be honest with you, they redo the gym promo pack over in Japan, and when Scarlet and Violet was kind of new, it might have been around Triple B, it was quite early on anyway, they redid it, and Cloth was the Pokemon that was chosen, there's always one EX in all these promo packs, and this time around, it was Cloth, which is awesome, I'm a big fan of Cloth. But we never knew how it was coming. The, these promo cards over in Japan, they are kind of random, honestly. We never know exactly how or when or why, etc. we're actually getting them. It's very much a kind of sit around and cross your fingers. You know, the first of the promos that we actually got in this style of thing over in Japan, although it was slightly different. It was, it was kind of a starter deck promo rather than necessarily a gym promo. But it was the same kind of thing. Was Cyclazar. And then obviously we got Cyclazar as a box over here and that made perfect sense. But the last Sword and Shield one we had, the last gym promo pack we had for Sword and Shield featured Quagsire X. And you might be looking at that going, well, hang on a second, Wossie. I don't remember that coming out in English. No. No, you don't, ladies and gentlemen. That card, as it stands at the moment, has never received an English release. That's not to say it won't get an English release, but as I've explained to you before, outside of rare exceptions, when we move on to Scarlet and Violet, we generally stop getting Sword and Shield promos. When we moved on to Sword and Shield, we stopped getting Sun and Moon promos. It's not to say there haven't been exceptions. There have been. But it's very rare. So as it stands at the moment, Quagsire EX, 
the last promo EX and the gym promo packs over in Japan, we never got it. And the thing is, it's actually really good. It's not affected by any effects of your opponent's attacks. And for free energy, you do 100, but if there's any fighting energy on there, you do 220, which is actually honestly pretty good for a basic Pokemon because it one-hit KOs Pokemon Vs. In the same promo pack, we also got the Stadium Peaceful Park. And yeah, that, that was a cool stadium that basically said nobody can be confused and anyone that is confused becomes unconfused. That card just doesn't exist in English. We never got an English version of that card. So something like Cloth coming out is actually a big deal because it means it's not a promo. It means it's not being skipped entirely. It means it is a card which actually exists and is actually coming, which, as I've just explained, is not always necessarily a given when we're talking about these promo packs. These Japanese promo packs are a little bit weird and a little bit all over the place, so, the fact that we're getting Cloth is genuinely awesome, and I am genuinely delighted. Uh, shout out to Pokemon TCG UK, who did do the reveal here. Yay! So, what Cloth actually does, it's got the ability counter-attacking Pinsir. If it's active and damaged by an attack, you discard an energy from the attacking Pokemon, which is annoying for them. And for a fighting double colorless 100 damage, flip a coin. If heads, it actually goes up to 180. This is not the best card ever. In fact, it's not as good as, as Quagsire. Quagsire is a better card. It is one which I think would have more of a chance of making an impact on the metagame. But the fact that we're getting Clawf in here is kind of big. Because this was a card that could easily have been forgotten. Could easily have been removed. And let's face it. If you flip heads with this, this is a decent attack. And if your opponent is trying to attack with little Pokemon, you can leave Cloth in the active, and if they attack, they lose an energy. It's not a terrible, garbage, unplayable Pokemon or anything along those lines. It's not the best card ever, but it is still kind of cool. And it's a card which I personally am very, very happy to see. And it does give us more information about obsidian flames as a little bit of a catch-up set just remember the nature of catch-up sets the best cards are overwhelmingly likely to be coming from ruler of the black flame and these extra promos etc are likely not guaranteed but they are likely to be on the lower end at least in terms of kind of competitive viability and that should immediately make you go well hang on a second wassy what about the others? What about Mabastiff EX? Mabastiff was another one. And although it's not... Is it out? I think it might just have come out. Uh, so we've got Mabastiff EX, which is one we're missing. And also Graphii EX. Now, Graphii EX is actually part of a promotion. We're, we're going to talk about this more in a video very, very soon. But it's in the latest Koro Koro comic. Although it's not actually in the comic, you have to take a page from the comic to a participating store to pick it up. We don't know how we're getting Graphii. We don't know how we're getting Mabastiff. I'm just showing these very quickly as examples of... Hey, just to be clear, there are a couple of other EXs we're waiting for. One thing I do think is kind of important to point out, these were released in Japan after Cloth, and for that reason, I wouldn't expect to see them coming around in Obsidian Flames. I could be wrong, but these would be, whereas Cloth kind of makes sense from a timeline standpoint, I would be very, very surprised if we saw Mavisif and especially Graphii, because the magazine that gave you the promotion for Graphii literally released in Japan on Friday. It's just come out. The magazine, for what it's worth, did have a Shroodle in. Just kind of in the comic, you get Shroodle. And then it's got kind of a redemption thing. We have to go in person to pick up Graphii. Which would be super annoying if I wasn't going to Japan in a couple of weeks. But I am. You better believe I'm going to be trying to go and pick this up as soon as I get to Japan. Because this is a really cool promotion. And the idea of picking up this comic where I have to go in person to pick up the promo. And then actually picking up the promo makes me very happy indeed. Like I say, more on that in a future video. So, they're probably not coming, but Cloth is. And that's awesome. What else has been revealed? Well, Paude and Clodzire. 
Pau Day and Claude Zyra has gone and been revealed, and I love this, along with Fue Coco, the best of the Gen 9 Pokemon. In terms of cards, eh. I mean, it's got two interesting attacks, I just don't think they're good enough. For a single Darkness Energy, 20 damage, plus poison, and during your opponent's next turn, that Pokemon can't retreat. And I do think, if you can trap something in the active with this, it is actually pretty good. Don't forget, we've got Radiant Hasui and Sneasler, which will add two to the poison during Pokemon checkup. So then all of a sudden, you're doing three damage counters between turns or during Pokemon checkup to try and, you know, take a Pokemon down a little faster. And if you can kind of trap your opponent with something in the active, they can't retreat. If they can't switch and you trap something that isn't able to attack, you can whittle them down quite nicely using the poison and the attack. I don't necessarily think it's actually going to work. But I do think it's a fun thing that we should be trying to have a little bit of a play with. As for the other attack here, we've got ourselves free energy, 100 damage, and you discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Love that we can do a little bit of milling here. I just don't like the cost. And yes, it is awesome that Dark Patch is back in the format right now, so we can pay this a lot more easily. And if you're okay doing 80 damage, what you can actually do here is go Dark Patch, double Turbo Energy, and then actually get this going in a single turn. Although, remember, you will have to take a turn to evolve up. And that could be really fun. I like this. But the free energy on a stage one honestly just really puts me off and makes me think that this might actually not work in the long run. Cool card, not going to work. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and they went and revealed Palafin, the art rare or illustration rare Palafin, the one that we only just got revealed in Japanese at the weekend. Yeah, that got revealed as well. I have very little to add. We, we literally talked about this card the other day. Because it was revealed in Japanese. But it's kind of a beautiful card, honestly. And, you know, Kamiyama's knocking it out of the park artwork-wise. And it's got your finners in there. And it's, it's just a really cool-looking card. It is, of course, the same one that does have a pre-release promo. So you can go and argue as to which one you prefer. But since it was gone and revealed, I, I thought it was a little bit rude to not actually show it to you. So I did. Yay! So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, new cards from Obsidian Flames, and like I say, whether you think Cloth is playable or not doesn't really matter, although obviously it's more fun if you do, but the point here is the fact that this is coming as a promo then opens up so many other options of promos coming and is a pretty big deal. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you need to know, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, and all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Matt DS, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.